I'm Gabe and I'm here with Ivan, Ian Brill. Yeah. Did I get it right? Uh, Ian Brill. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, now, you are writing a book right now that I had no idea was coming out. Sure. I actually found out about it after the fact uh -huh. and it took me a week to find them. Uh -huh. Picked up the books, yeah. loved them. Yeah. You were doing the Dark Green Duck book. I'm sold. I'm sold. You're doing the Dark Green yeah. Duck book, right? Yeah. Now, how did this come to you? Did you come to um, Boom and say, look, uh, Doc Green Duck was a character I like, yeah. or did they come to you and say, we got this project, do you want to get involved? Uh, when Boom got the license for Disney Standard, which includes all Duck, Mickey Mouse, basically all the uh, the regular Disney characters that have been around since the beginning, that included Darkwing Duck, and there were discussions about uh, bringing that character back. Uh, I had certainly, you know, as, long as, as well as other people at the company, made the case that, you know, uh, a generation that grew up watching the Disney Afternoon. Uh, a lot of them are, are in comic stores now, uh, buying comics every week. So we felt uh, the time was there, the audience was there, so we just went ahead and did it. Of all the characters, why, do you, why Darkwing Duck for you? Uh, Darkwing, you know, it kind of splits the difference between uh, the Donald Duck adventures, Mickey Mouse adventures, then uh, the superhero stuff that uh, you know that you see everywhere. So it kind of you can kind of do both stuff, both the humor and the action. Now, did you grow up watching the show? Yeah, yeah, I watched all of the Disney afternoon shows. Um, just coming home after school. So when you were coming, did, were you like very excited about it, or were you a little worried? Like, can I keep up the quality of the show? Uh, it was, you know, I just, I just made sure to watch a lot of the show, uh, uh, just, just research it, try to get the voices of characters down, and uh, while I was writing it, you know, and just, you know, writing you just kind of want to present the coolest things as quickly as possible. I think that's. Uh, I don't know. That's that's why I'm always trying to tell myself when I write. Just you know, communicate to the audience why this is cool. You know, that's why I like. That's what I like to do. Now, coming in as a writer who's writing, you know, past characters. Yeah. What challenges did that present as a writer? Uh, you just kind of have to live up to what's what's been there, and uh, in a way, it helps you. There's a there's a lot of uh, characters to work with, a uh, great rogues gallery to work with. And uh, you, already, you, know, you can see kind of how a Darkwing story works and the fact that uh, fate kind of works against them until he figures out uh, maybe the lesson of the story and then, it, then fate works in his favor. That's, uh, you know, it's, that's stuff you pick up just watching the show. Now, you, the name of the first, and the, it was a miniseries and then it uh, got picked up. Originally a miniseries and then we made it ongoing after uh, the enthusiasm was so... Uh, Outstanding. Now it was called the Dark Knight, the, the Dark Duck. Duck Knight Returns. Um, was that kind of like we were like picking up such a loaded uh, it title? Was, it was just a funny title that we uh -huh. thought. Uh, it fit the fact that the character was coming back. Um, you know, that was it. People, people, it was weird. People try to look and see if it was an actual Dark Knight parody, which is which is never the intention. I don't really think it works like that. It's uh, it's its own story. Uh, we just wanted a funny title and a funny image. That, yeah, but uh, that that cover for that first yeah, the cover for the first issue had to be like one by far one of my favorite covers ever. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, how did the process of the story come through? Uh, I uh, wrote it, submitted it to Boom, submitted it to Disney, uh, and then they liked it, then started you know just jamming with the scripts, you know. So how did the story come about, like? Did you sit there and say maybe I should make a continuation of the show, but you ended up making a year gap? Like, yeah, how did that I process? I wanted to. Uh, I mean, the audience hadn't seen Darkwing for a while, so I wanted um, there to be that kind of sense that Darkwing is back in the story. Uh, it's very important to me that you know the characters' reactions would match, you know, sort of like the reactions of the people reading the audience reading the story. That they would be excited that Darkwing's back. They would, they would, you know. They would miss his adventures, which is why we flashback to uh, not adventures from the show, but adventures he would have had yeah. in the first issue to Goslin uh, being an audience surrogate in the last pages of the book by, by telling Darkwing to come back. 
Now, um, what can you tell us about that year gap? Are we going to see more flashbacks, or uh, was he really just working in an office? Yeah, that's all that was happening. I mean, I would, do you want, I would, I would do uh, an issue that's just eight panels every page of him at a desk, <laughs> except some of the pages in the middle would be empty because he's at lunch. That's, that's what a flashback that would be. So, like, and I, I really enjoy the fact that it felt like there was a lot of thought that went into the story. Yeah, yeah. It just didn't feel like it was some clusterfuck where someone was like, hey, let's just do a Darwin Doug and he was gone for you. You you plotted it out well. Yeah. How long did that plot take? Uh, the plot, it was a couple of, couple of weeks, I think like one or two weeks, just, just thinking about that, uh, just nonstop, um, you know, all, all kinds of, all kinds of different angles to attack it from. Mm-hmm. You know, we wanted, uh, Bulba back, uh, and have him be the cat's paw to this, um, you know, there was, and then there was a way to bring the villains back in their own, their own kind of adventure, so, you know, it was just tossing those ideas around and kind of... Which was the, which did you feel was the funnest villain? Uh, Cracker Jack, Cracker Jack's Cracker a lot Jack? of fun, yeah. I, I, you'll, the, I, I'd want to see, to, to bring him back, I'd, you'll probably see him come back pretty soon. Okay. And what would, what could have been the hardest character you felt to get a voice from? The hardest? Uh, I don't, you know, I don't get, I, I, don't, I didn't get Bushroot enough room I, uh, in the first, because there's just so many characters and just so yeah. much to do. Uh, so th- I have another idea for him in Liquidator that I want to try out, hopefully soon, that'll uh, give them uh, their due. Now the book seems, at one point, yeah, it is geared all ages, yeah. but at the same time, there is some adult behind it. Did you find it hard to find to find something that you can write for kids and then get like people my age, our age, who watch the show? It was a matter of just like you know, I I, I grew up watching Darkwing, I grew up watching you know The Simpsons and uh, shows like that had always appealed across generations by just doing the best stories that they can, uh, giving the best characterization they can. Uh, see Pixar do that right now yeah. and that's basically what I want to do it was a matter of worrying about demographics I think if you worry about and, and, and craft just the plot and characters well then everybody else will fall in line alright so let's do, let's do some Darkwing Duck talk uh, what was your favorite scene writing in the book that you wrote in the book your favorite scene yeah or uh, probably the one where Goslin goes uh, and fetches launch pad Okay. Yeah. Gosling's uh, probably my favorite character to write because she's always moving. You never have to worry about what's her motivation. She's always, I mean, she's I spontaneous. But uh, yeah, she's always, she's not a character that uh, you got to kind of fight to figure out what they're doing at any time. You know, she's just always going to be moving ahead and moving the story forward. What were some fond memories that you remember from the original show? Uh, I, you know, just tons of stuff. The original. Negaduck uh, storyline really split Darkwing into Negaduck and Monsterduck. I thought that that's really good. The original uh, Darkwing and Duck, uh, the Justice uh, Justice Ducks, okay. the one where uh, Darkwing has his own team versus all the villains. That was that was kind of an influence on this storyline because we have all these villains coming up. Now I know I'm gonna ask you a question. It might be a spoiler. Uh huh. Are we ever gonna find out what happens to or what happened? To um, Gizmo Duck. Oh, uh, yeah. We, we plan to deal with uh, the Gizmo Duck stuff uh, in a future storyline. Okay. That's definitely on the on the table. So for now, Goslin will be Gizmo Duck. Uh, you'll see. You'll you'll even see some changes with that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Um, for those who have not been able to pick up the Darkwing, the Duck. Darkwing Duck, it's yeah. coming out in the trade, right? Yeah, it should be out. I believe it's out trade in November. Right. So. And if anybody wants to get in contact with you, give you some comments, some feedback, is there anywhere Just they can get a hold of studioscom and there's a forum there uh, that I check pretty regularly. So uh, that's the best place to do it. All right, thanks a lot, and continue the good work, man. All right, thanks, man.